I decided as long as I have these electronic loads I might as well put them in an enclosure and by enclosure I don't mean a cardboard box so I've gathered what I think will be all the pieces I need which is two loads a wall wart 12 volts a uh, power connector for the wall wart an on off switch uh, single pull single throw and a 12 volt fan I intend to enclose them in this enclosure it's the uh, one with the bale it has a ventilation slot on what I believe is intended to be the bottom now that case is referred to as a 20 by 175 by 70 millimeter enclosure project box whatever on Banggood eBay and maybe Alley I've developed a drawing with two front panel layouts for that enclosure the intention is to use one of these as a cutting uh, marking template and the other is a final front panel template so if you have 25 watt loads this one which is marked 35 watts will be your drilling and marking template and this will be your final template vice versa if you have a 35 watt load this will be your drilling template and blah blah now I've decided to connect the negative terminals of these two loads together. The reason I'm doing that is because the negative terminal of the power source and this V1, V positive, V negative is the what powers the fan and this load and stuff up these are the terminals of the device to be put under load a battery power supply whatever and the negatives are connected together so if I use one power supply to power both of these the negative terminal will be connected together because I'm going to feed, I'm going to connect the both positive and negative terminal to each load. I'm going to purposely connect it physically at the terminals in order to make sure that I'm not back feeding the load current through the power source through the power source wiring now due to some defect in my printer I believe that I was not able to, to get a good solid black so that I have to be marked up with a magic marker to make that nice and sharp I've also included a drawing of the back panel. On the back panel I'll mount the power connector and a 50 millimeter fan to get some circulation through the case. I've also developed similar drawings, similar logic, similar difficulty for use in a, a uh, Jameco enclosure which I've used in the past and I've developed a rear
template for that enclosure as well. Here's a rear cutout for this Jameco Wisher whatever panel. And you see it fits perfectly. The front and the rear are the same. The difference between these two panels is the Jameco panel is a little longer and the panel I intend to use is a little taller. This enclosure has no vents. So if I intend to place an exhaust fan on the rear of this enclosure, I'll need to drill some air holes. This enclosure, this one here, has these air holes in the bottom. I'm not going to bore you with a procedure if you watched my other construction videos. You get the gist of how this is done. I wasn't going to do this, but here's the cutout drilling template cut out <laughs> and glued to the front panel. Here's the back panel. The only thing I'm going to do with this back panel is mark the, all of these hole centers so I can drill them. Straight edge cutting. Utility knife for cutting. This is what I use for gluing this shit together. I guess I shouldn't have said that. I've decided to use these uh, banana jacks. I realized when I got the templates out that I had not shown them to you. Because, frankly, I forgot to pull them out. So here's the front panel and they lie about the size of this opening. I'll tell you how. First of all, the fan won't fit through. Okay. Fortunately, the fan can be unplugged. Unplug the fan from this one. And this one fits like that. I guess it goes this way, really. This one fits like that. But, a little casting defect there. Look at that. See the edge of the each end of the case has one of these on it that's intended to go in spring loaded. But you can see it's not flush with the case. It sticks out. So I'm going to have to, and if I get a chance, I'll modify the uh, template. I've had this problem before, but I always was sloppy enough cutting the uh, opening that it didn't really matter. Maybe I'll modify the template. This is uh, the load. Well, half the load. <laughs> I can't seem to find my other 35 watt load. You can see the divots that I cut out. Can you see them? On either end to allow for these locking lugs to pass through. Now, you should always chamfer holes, don't care if it's plastic or metal, but especially when there's some sort of fluid flow through the hole air, steam, water, whatever, hydraulic fluid. It needs to be chambered well, and I assume you know what I mean by chambered.
tomorrow, I hope, I'll find my other 35 watt load, finish wiring this up, and maybe test it. If you like this kind of project, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my site, drop me a comment. Thank you.